Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a kind of um, ad hoc video about me talking about eBay and um, I imagine a lot of people sort of at the turn of the year would have sort of got into eBay and started working on it and um, I know that when I, I started doing it, it is very exciting and um, you know, it's quite something to, to start earning money that is purely down to you and the effort you put in and that kind of you don't have that reliance on um you know someone employing you basically it is it is um, pretty much down to you but um you should never forget this kind of flip side of that is that it, the responsibility is on you to to make a good job of it and make a go and that can be that can be quite tough sometimes um especially i mean lately i've i've had a lot of um things that have cost me a lot of money um uh, like the boiler and the car etc and i've still had to keep focused on ebay and that making money because if that doesn't make money then i'm you know not in a good situation and if i'd have been working in an office job I could have gone there nine to five or you know nine to six or whatever and had that you know I could have gone there and worked hard I could have gone there and 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 maybe not worked as hard um, but still got the same money and I think it's important to realize that the responsibility that that you have to to you and earning that money um, I mean, also, it's a bit of a rambling on this, but a lot of people will go into eBay and they will set goals, which might be, yeah, I want to, I want to do, um, I don't know, 30 grand turnover in a year and next year I want to do 40 grand and next year, I want, you know, year after I want to do 50 and then 60 and then break VAT. And, I mean, it's admirable to have goals, but... Um, it's definitely not going to be a case of you will consist. You, it's not like a job where you might, you know, get a job for, you know, so many thousand pounds, and in five years' time you want to be earning fifty percent more through some some gradual steps. With eBay, on a month to month basis, it is very up and down. It is very changeable and unpredictable. And that consistency is not something you're going to get in terms of turnover or profit um, on a month-to-month -month basis. The one thing I do talk about you know, with consistency is the one thing you can do is be consistent with your work. Um, and, of course, when things happen, I'm cutting my own head off there, when things happen, be it you know, on a personal front, or on a financial front, you've got to be able to um, firstly be aware of that, and that might happen. Things will always change. You know, something will always surprise you, and um, you do have to be realistic with. Okay, well, if I'm doing this much on eBay, can I can I take the hit? Can I take a hit if it happens? Can I take one hit? Can I take two hits? Can I take three hits? Um, and if you can't, you know, you've got to think very seriously about, you know, whether it's for you or you've got to think very seriously about how you're working eBay and um, are you are you working hard enough? Are you working efficiently? Um but at the end of the day, it is down to you. Um, you can you can watch all the YouTube videos you, you like to try and kind of garner some knowledge. But nothing beats just getting out there and working at it. And you'll soon find out, you know, whether whether you've got you know what it takes to um, to do it. Um, you know the the community is great, but um, if you suddenly find that you know you've had a month where 
you've only turned over, I don't know, a grand or something or 500, the community isn't going to, you know, make up the money. You know, it, it, what I'm saying is it's down to you. You know, it'll be there for maybe help and maybe some advice. Um, but everyone's situation is different. And really, the only person who can help you make it on eBay is yourself. So I've probably repeated myself about 20 billion times there. But I hope you get what I'm saying is that a lot of the time people will be attracted towards selling on eBay um, because they might see someone sort of saying, oh, I turned over £10,000 in three months or I turned over £20,000 in three months and, you know, I bought this for two quid and I sold it for, um, you know, a hundred or whatever. But that can't consistently happen. You know, you can't have someone sort of saying, oh, I turned over £20,000. And then the next month they're saying, I turned over twenty five. And the next month they turned over thirty. And what you don't hear is when it's tough. Because who, who wants to tune into a channel where someone will say, I was doing really well, um, but now I'm not doing well. Um, and it may be, you know, there may be perfectly good reasons for that. And, you know, it may be that they've they've wanted to take their foot off the pedal for, you know, other stuff taking their focus or they don't want to go near a VAT threshold. You know, it, it could be um, a multitude of reasons. But, you know, putting that on a YouTube video will not attract views to the YouTube video. The only thing that brings people in is I'm doing really well. Look at this because... I imagine people want to see how they could do it. So I think it's just something to be aware of, a little bit of realism for for anyone who's new to eBay. Um, it's not always going to be, you know, you're increasing your turnover month on month. Um, there will always be down months and up months. Um, but one one of the things I say, and I've said it quite a lot, you you try and keep the downs less downy, and you try and keep the ups more uppy, and have more of them. And that graph, you know, it is up and down, but but generally year to year, you you want to try and push it upwards. Um, and also bear in mind what eBay, what else eBay gives you. You know, you're not working for the man. You you are totally in control. Of your own destiny you um, you have the freedom you know if you if you do have things that are um, you need to spend more time on you don't have to worry about you know uh, having to take time off work unpaid or whatever but of course the, the you know the flip like a flip side like I said before is it is it is down to you to, to make it when you can so everyone's in a different situation, you know, in terms of like, do I know what I'm doing on eBay or anyone ask that question? Um, you know, I've, I've, I've spoken to very experienced resellers, um, you know, the ones you know have YouTube channels. And I, I've said to them, when did you, when did you know, you, you know, you, you, when did you feel you knew what you were doing? And you never really do really. But the major thing is if you, if you enjoy it and, you can make it work at whatever level you want. Um, obviously, go for it. I don't want to put anyone off reselling because I do love it myself. I just want to make people aware, really, of um, it's not always up, up, up. And, of course, um, with the YouTube videos, you will only hear the more sunny side of it. Um, I try not to do that. I'm, I'm a bit of a half... Uh, glass half empty person I mean I, I do let people know when I'm doing well but you know I had a really difficult February it p picks it has picked up in March and April which has been brilliant but there were reasons why it was really difficult in February um, and you know a few things lately which has, have been quite difficult but I'm aware that um, you know these are just things to be worked through and um, it will you know it'll be okay I'm glad the boot season's going and, um, you know, these things these things are there. There are always hurdles to get over with sort of like reselling eBay 
and life in general, and you just got to do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Um, if you kind of like that kind of um, honest take on things, you know, I always think it's handy to know. Um, do stick a like on it and uh, sub if you're not subbed. Um, yeah, take care. I'll see you soon.